The Biden administration issued brand new guidance on school reopenings, but tensions continue to run high in school districts across the US trying to bring students back into classrooms. I got a chance to speak with the US president's chief medical advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci. I asked him about the state of play of age de-escalation trials for the under 16 cohort and when that supply is expected. Here's what he said. Well, you know, it's, it's very common, uh, and we do this traditionally, is that before you approve a vaccine in a child, you prove that it's safe and effective in an adult normal population. Uh, not that we want to deprive children of vaccination, but because children are vulnerable. And you want to make sure when you have a vulnerable population, you treat them specially. So here's what we do. What we do when you finally prove, which we have with the two vaccines, Moderna and Pfizer, that are safe and effective, the Pfizer one is already down to age 16, the uh, Moderna is 18. What we will be doing, and we've already starting, is what's called age de-escalation studies. You do a phase one or a phase 2A trial going from 16 to 12, 12 to 9, 9 to 6. And you show that A, the vaccine is safe in those individuals, and B, you induce an immune response that's comparable to the level of the immune response that you showed was effective in a normal adult population. We would imagine that at least one of those vaccines will have gotten to the vaccine uh, age de-escalation by the time we get to the end of the summer the beginning of the fall. So we would hope that we would have at least one of the candidates available for children by the time we get to the end of the summer, unless we get into some issue with safety and immunogenicity, which we don't anticipate that that will be the case.